hard to tell people that don't have children what it's like. It's this very strange feeling, the love that you have for those people. That's these crazy. little people. It's, it's, it's transformative. Dave Chappelle once said to me, he goes, it didn't just change how much love I have. He goes, it changed my capacity for love. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great way to put it. It is. Yeah. It's L- a life-changing and, thing. Just like, like for me, it was that unconditional. Mm-hmm. That unconditional love, man, is just... Yeah. <sighs> and for you, with your insane background in your childhood, to be able to provide a, a great background for your kids... It's important to me. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. And that's the I was like I said, the best decision I ever made in my life was marrying who I married. I married right. I did it did it the right way. And it's the way we met, you would think it's going to fail for sure. I was fucking <laughs> we just won a Super Bowl and I go to Vegas and I'm fucking on a bender. <laughs> <laughs> on a on a fucking bender like doing shit I shouldn't be doing <laughs> and walk into this fucking club, the Tao nightclub. You know, I, you know, you know, Tao, yeah. the restaurant. And everything? Sure. So she was our, our waitress for the fucking table service. Cause we ate dinner and then we walked in there and I was fucking, you know, like, mm. <laughs> I got a fucking thousand dollar or a hundred thousand dollar fucking chain on hundred thousand dollar fucking Audemars bust down AP on my wrist. Look at like a fucking kid. That's what she said. She was like, he looks like kid rock. <laughs> She's like, I walk in there and I, I look, I'm carrying a bottle of Don Julio 1942, fucking drinking straight out of the bottle. I'm walking wow. in there and fucking got, I got a big bracelet, crazy fucking diamond bracelet on, you know, <laughs> fucking stupid, stupid, dumb waste of money like an idiot. What is the first dumb thing you bought? The first dumb thing I bought? Uh, like right when you get signed. Right, right when, when I signed the, my the big contract. Bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I bought $300,000 $300, worth of jewelry like an idiot. <laughs> That I can never get the money back for. It's just fucking dead. <laughs> I had to make six hundred to pay, to do that. I had to make six hundred thousand to pay for that three hundred. So I fucking got six hundred thousand dollars of jewelry. I'll never get the money out. Is that a standard thing among uh, guys in the NFL? I, I played defensive line, and a white guy on the defensive line is usually not like it's not normal, right? So like, that's just the culture I was in. Mm. So I thought it was fucking. I was always. I was, my whole life I spent trying to just fit in where I could, you know, mm-hmm. and like. It wasn't until I, like, retired where I was able to find out who I really was, you know? Mm. Like, who am I really? Because my whole life I've been trying to fake it because I didn't want to be that. I've been trying to be somebody somebody else, trying mm. to discover this other person because I didn't want to be who you were, who I was, who, yeah. which was poor white trash. Right. So I've been trying to run from that. So I've almost embraced that that white trash side of me, you know? But you know how it's, import- it's so important for a guy like you to tell the story? Because there's got to be some kid listening somewhere there that's is. living a similar life and They're realizes the there's a way out of this tunnel. Dude, my 